here at large. And that refers to the lingering symptoms of COVID-19 that trespass the initial two weeks of convalescence. So just when patients and sufferers think it's over, I can uh, come out of quarantine, they find themselves with lingering symptoms for which there's little to no explanation initially. Now, doctor, is this something that only happens in those who have tested positive or can be someone who, who hasn't really experienced that? That's such a great question and sadly, there are those with minimal to no symptoms who are coming to me with symptoms like headache, hair loss, lack of balance, depression. Um, there's no organ system that is spared head to toe. It becomes like a syndrome where COVID-19 can essentially attack any organ, any blood vessel and leave patients with lingering symptoms. Now, not everybody will suffer to that extent. We're seeing anywhere from 18% to unfortunately up to 80% of COVID-19 sufferers coming back with more chronic symptoms. And what you have seen, is there any, uh, I guess, way that this is gonna come to an end? As far as those long haulers, will they ultimately get rid of these lingering um, symptoms? It's an excellent question. And I think we have every expectation that with time, it's the eventual healer, patients will come out um, whole again. But you know, uh, Mr. Avery, I often think of people suffering concussions and it seems like such an interminable amount of time before they feel back to themselves. I liken the post COVID state to some of that where there is uncertainty about the duration of symptoms, but a full expectation of recovery with time. Any recommendation uh, very quickly for what folks should be doing uh, to kind of help with these long haul uh, symptoms? 